we are at the Dreams and Drivers Car Show. Hello guys, I'm Donna Marie and you're watching the Corvette Channel. We are at the Dreams and Drivers Car Show. I'm looking at the wrong spot in the camera there. Uh, and it's to uh, support pancreatic cancer to uh, help. And um, so we are gonna, we're just, we're here at Red Hot Casino here in, um, El that's up past El Dorado Hills uh, here in California. Let's see if I can get far enough out here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and let you see what we've got. So, so anyway, uh, let me see if I can get this out and about so you guys can see all the cars. I'm just gonna walk this here and uh, we'll try to try to show you all the different ones. This is an all car car show and um, just a lot of different ones here and uh, we waited for the cars to come in uh, and settle down. I still hear some that are coming in. Um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna swing back around here so I don't have to walk this twice. As you can see, there's, there's a lot of different variations of stuff. Probably some of these cars you guys have seen before in other shows. Um, so let's see here. What do we got here, guys? Gorilla Gang. Oh, yeah, I thought my car was low. Wow. All right. Uh, so, we got some Mustangs over here. 69 Mach 1. And then we got a lot newer one there. So, now, guys, um, Lester is one of our viewers, and uh, he came over and spotted me wiping the car down. And, um, and so he's like, hey, are you Scott? And I said, yep, I sure am. He's like, hey, I, I uh, used to have an 89, and I loved it, but uh, it was time to upgrade. And so he went and got himself a, uh, a new, this is a 2019, I think he said, uh, Stingray. And he just loves this car. So, but I just wanted to call, call him out, say thanks for coming. Thanks for watching our channel. He said he's watched the the, the uh, show um, enough that he's seen my car do the transformation all the way to what it is today, um, which is kind of cool. I've had a couple other other people come by and say hi, which is really nice. Um, this car here, guys, you guys probably recognize this. This one was at our car show uh, a few weeks ago, uh, our first annual one. This car won best of show, and. Um, see here this is a uh, I mean, he's got the Star Wars theme going on and uh, he definitely likes the likes all the black and white you guys have also seen this this car uh, when we did that steering wheel and some of the, the seat belts and that type of stuff so um, you guys have seen it a couple different times hey Tommy you're on the on the channel what's up Corvette uh, channel yeah, yeah. so so anyway, there's there's John. We'll be showing you his car. He's got a, I think I don't know if you haven't seen it already. It's got a, a patriotic wrap on it. Um, so we'll be showing you that. And I mean, so there's just like a whole bunch of different cars here. Um, I'm gonna try to try to get all of them in here. This is uh, this is fun. Some really nice cars. Ford GT there and some really nice looking Camaros and it's just nice the guys I would normally have gone live with this um, I couldn't um, there is no as you can see we're inside in a parking garage which is really really nice because it is hot today um, but we're in the shade and that's kind of nice um, so I'm trying to go slow enough that I get you everything um, 
but uh, it will be kind of kind of tough. But like I said, I would I normally would go live with this so you could see it right now. I'm gonna have to post this later because there is absolutely no cell phone service out here at all. So um, anyway, some really nice cars. You know, I've seen these before, but I really don't even know what the heck this is. It's a Divco. All right. Well, it's kind of cool. Um, there we go. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a Cobra. Go ahead, folks. You're fine. You're fine. And... Some really, really good-looking cars here. I heard this. I heard this Coyote come come in a little while ago. Man, that thing sounds mean. And that big old hood. I hope he's got a big old supercharger in that thing. That's for sure. All right. And then I know uh, I know Terry would like this. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I love the grill. Take a look at that. <laughs> um, Let's see here. I'm almost skipping over a few of them. I don't want to do that, but let's go back over here. And got another Mustang, and then uh, I'm not exactly sure what this one is, to be honest with you. Let's see. Oh, I'm saying it's a Tesla. Tesla Roadster. Wow. Well, guys, I got to say, that is probably the best looking te uh, Tesla that I've seen. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you, that's that's pretty cool looking. I gotta gotta give it that. What year is this thing? 375 volt AC and induction air cooled electric motor. Wow. 302 horse. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I gotta say that. That's probably the only electric car I've seen that I actually like the look of it. Um, old Ford. Yeah. All right. Wow, this pickup's really nice. Really nice. Yeah, look at this. There you go. That is nice. And my wife Jennifer used to have, uh, not her, but her parents used to have uh, um, an orange one, very similar to that. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? So, another El Camino. Or, yeah, you just don't see very many of those anymore. An old Mustang, 66 Pontiac, and then we got a Rubicon over here, Jeep. All right, well, let's swing around to the other side here. Old Dart. <laughs> that's crazy. It's cool to see all the different different stuff that's out there, out and about. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to swing around this side. I'm almost thinking this is Mustang Alley over here from what I'm just kind of seeing, at least on this side of things. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so we tried to pull, pull some strings and get most of the Camaro or the Corvettes together. Um, but I don't, and these guys came in after us, so maybe they were a little more, a little more organized to get everybody dialed in. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead walk this row and then I'll come back around the other side. It was kind of hard to do that going side to side, probably making you guys dizzy. But, uh, you know, there we go. That's cool. Yeah, I know that's a Traxxas car. I have that and I've got one. It looks just like Jennifer's uh, Corvette. Uh, very cool. Yeah, this is a really good turnout. Really good turnout. Um, they don't even know, to be honest with you, what the how many cars are here. But quite a few, that's for sure. But it's definitely Mustang Row right here, guys. So, it's like another. What is that? I'm not exactly even sure what that is. That's very cool. Very cool car. That's a Jaguar. Yeah, 
Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful car, sir. Thank you. All right. Then uh, you saw this car at our last car show. This gentleman has done a lot with this car. It's beautiful. Um, let me show you under the hood. I think you probably saw this in our last video, but take a look at this mural on the, underneath the hood of this. It's beautiful. So this is a nice work in progress. He's been working on this for a while and uh, it just looks really, really nice. Um, this is also a friend of ours. Uh, it's Grace, uh, Grace and Jeff. Um, they just recently bought this car. This is a 17, 2017. Um, 50th anniversary car and uh, they're having a good time with it they're, they're slowly shouldn't say slowly they are they are decking it out extremely quickly um, so um, this one's gonna be probably a force to be reckoned with later on down the road and then you guys probably recognize my car finally after all the time that you've seen me being able to do the under the under lights the underglow the lights underneath the hood um, and then also the wind restrictor. Finally, I get to be able to, you know, we got all this stuff done right before COVID hit and then COVID hit and we haven't even been able to do a car show indoors. So finally, for the very first time, you can see how it comes out. It works really, really nice. I love it. Um, you know, you can just, you can just see, um, how cool it is to be able to have all those lights. In the daytime, you just can't appreciate it. And then we've got Kevin Reynolds' cars. You know, uh, you guys have seen Kevin a lot of different times. Um, like I said, he is a professional showman in every sense of the word. Um, you can see that, it's the, how he's got everything set up. And he really, this is a show, I'm gonna say this is a show car with no doubt, but it is, is totally geared be a track car and he does take it to the track he's got another set of tires and wheels identical to this so he takes these off puts the other ones on um, you can see he's got the harnesses and all that type of stuff in this car and like I said um, you can actually I've seen pictures and video of him actually tracking this car and yet he keeps it immaculate as you can see yeah so um, definitely uh, definitely a, a show car for sure then you've got John's car now you guys have seen bits and pieces of this we've done stuff to it but take a look at the at the wrap that he just had done take a look at this now on this side you can see that it's all the older vintage style hopefully maybe I can get out of the way and you can see it but you can see the helicopter the old you know medevac helicopter and the flags <laughs> and uh, hey Tommy and um, so you can see he's he's uh, wrapped it all the way around. And then if you come around to the back side here, you can see also in the wind restrictor. Okay, very 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 patriotic. Okay. And then you can see on this side this is the more modern side. It has the jet fighters and the aircraft carriers and things like that. So. Um, I just think it's a, he just did a really good job with that. This looks awesome. And then, guys, I always tell you, every time we do one of these car shows, and hey guys, this there's Tommy. I showed you his car a minute ago. And there's John. There, there, I was just showing him showing him your wrap, John. So, but like, guys, like I tell I tell the viewers all the time, right? That because um, I showed him your car a minute ago, but I told him I said, every show there's always proof that a Mustang and a, and a Corvette can get along. Yeah. And there they are right there. Right. right. Every show I go to, there's always at least one Corvette next to a Mustang every time. So, yeah. See? So we can all get along. We can. <laughs> we can. All right. So now we got a couple more Corvettes right over here. And then I'm going to swing around and I'm going to go back down the other row here. So let's swing around here. This, I, I'm not sure what year this is, but this is a C6 ZR1, um, and it's just a beautiful car. They, you know, they, um, these cars demand respect. They are, I think they were beyond their time, or before their time, I should say, and um, if I ever get my, my chance, I will probably own one of these. And 
you guys probably recognize this car from our car show. Uh, this gentleman, they they won uh, won the first place trophies. Guys, you guys are on Corvette Channel. I'm just telling them you guys that, how you guys did in the last car show. So beautiful car, guys. Okay, okay. And uh, then there's Mia. Now she escaped. She escaped being on camera last time, but. She's a Corvette girl, but look at what she brought to the show. I mean, let me see if I can see if I can get this out here a little ways. Take a look at that. Hi, everybody. You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't want to do this yourself, don't want to tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that. And in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this and we've actually turned this into a business. So um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do aero kits, all that type of stuff, reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of in passing, I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that, and, and it's turning out to be a pretty, pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered people that have been far enough away, I've offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, nope, we just want you guys to do it. So um, if you guys knew are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know, reach out to me. I'm gonna get that information right here on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. So, yeah, there she is, there she is. So guys, I, I had, uh, I got pulled away just for a second and, um, and so Mia was at the back of the car. Now I see she's over here cleaning it, but, um, but yeah, I mean, she normally drives a C6 and then um, she decided she's gonna show this, this little, this little piece off. This is beautiful. So Mia, what year is this? Uh, it's a 29. It's a 29. 29 yeah, now this is really, really cool. She's driving a Ford though, guys. I don't know if that's... I a... <laughs> I forgive myself this one time. Well, it's beauty. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. So you, I guess we'll let you get away with it. <laughs> Alright, hon. We'll talk to you later, okay? Alright. And we got a Porsche here. And what do we have here? This looks like a C6, with, it's a Z06 with the 427 in it. Wow, they changed the hood up. That looks really nice. That looks really, really cool. Yeah, I like it. And that's a carbon fiber uh, hood. Very cool. Yeah, I like it. Looks really nice. And then we've got a, another C6 here. And this has got to be, what did we do to this car? So it's got, it's got the ZR1 fenders on it. And it looks to be a Z06. All right. Very nice looking car. Very nice, a lot of, a lot of carbon fiber on that too. Very nice, very nice. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Another, another guy taking cameras, taking pictures. And we got a C7 right here. It's a good looking car. Um, again, like I've said before, guys, you got, you know, the, you can have, you can start out with 10 Corvettes or 100 Corvettes that all look the same, and you can totally change them around and just, just a few little things. So, how you doing, sir? And uh, looks like a CTSV here. How you doing? The shorts? Beautiful car. I love the love the hood, uh, guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. You guys see that flag in there? 
Oh, the camera's actually picking it up better than I can see it, but it looks really, really nice. Yeah. What year is this? 15. 15. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Very beautiful. All right. And again, guys, that's a Corvette underneath there. I mean, that's, that's what that thing is. Uh, and then we've got, got a, this is a char Challenger, I think these are. Engines, they have to like just pour them into there. It's crazy. There's a few, bunch of them here. It's one of the old sleeper Buicks. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be careful with that car. It doesn't look like it'll go anywhere, but it will. All right. Now, this one I don't think I've ever seen before. It says 48 Ford. Look at that front nose. Cool, but different. Yeah, you gotta be careful of those too. A couple more Mustangs here. Hey, there they are. <laughs> we'll catch you on the other side. And then, oh, we got a few more cars coming in, it looks like. put us all in different areas and that's kind of cool at least with this show they haven't really played a lot of music right now so I'm able to get the pictures and not have to worry about copyright strikes and all that type of stuff I don't think they can copyright strike me on a on the, uh, so, on the uh, sound of an engine uh, nice Camaro right there See if we can find out what year this is. What year is that? 1970. All right. Very nice. A lot of work to get that motor in there, I'm sure. All right. Then we got a Viper. Another one. Another Viper. Very cool. All right. Old, old pickup. A couple of them. It's nice. It's got a lot of lines on it. They just look cool. When I was younger, I didn't appreciate those, but I sure do nowadays. All right. Well, here's someone with some lights on the bottom of them. There we go. Oh. <laughs> drove the steering wheel right off the car. <laughs> All right. Well, look at this. This truck is sitting right on the ground. Wow. Crazy. Look at that. That's nuts. All right. Then we've got a, another... Holy Toledo. Look at that. Look at the fenders on that thing. Isn't that nuts? All right. Well, and then we got, so this is all the same brand, Team Elevate. I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever heard of them before. That's cool. All right, here's a, here's a car for sale, actually. This might, this is the 06 commemorative edition. He's offered, off, asking 26.5 for this car, guys. Tell you, in this market right now that we've got, I don't know if that's not a bad deal or not, really, to be honest with you, uh, depending on mileage and all that type of stuff. Um, Corvettes are getting hard to come by. With the fact that the C8 has been, haven't been plagued with issues and they are constantly um, constantly getting shops getting, you know, getting shut down, 
uh, or the plants getting shut down, it's kind of hard to get your hands on a Corvette at this point. So prices just keep going up. So this one's got to be a, I don't know what this one is, 64, I'm going to guess. Again, this was something that um, my my father-in-law, when I first met my wife, he had a pearl white one, 64. That was a total complete frame off. He had done pretty much everything. It was sitting in a two-car garage and just needed to be married right back together and then it would have been a complete car. But uh, that didn't, uh, he ended up trading it off, so. Anyway, so I'm going to see if I can kind of move ahead here a little bit so you're not looking at the back end of everybody. All right, looks like another GTR there. All right. And then I do actually see an XLR up here. Well, there's a Camaro. Like This one looks like our Camaro right there in that black one. Yeah, it looks a lot like ours. And then another C7. And then you can see, you, know, you guys probably remember, uh, Jennifer had a Burgundy uh, XLR. This is a really pretty blue. Man, really nice. And then uh, another, another Corvette, another Camaro. It's, uh, very, very cool. Oh, look at that. It's an orange, orange and black. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting combination. All right, and then let's get over here. Some nice old trucks. These are cool. Really cool to see these things that are still on the road and doing their thing. Let me uh, get down here, another Mustang. And it's a Bishi. Okay, there we go, SRX, I think, on that. All right. So, we're gonna swing back around here. So, come up and write a thank you note that we'll send your name to you. And come take a look at the awards. And kind of swing around here. Drop some money, eat, and enjoy. So, I'm gonna, this row here, I'm gonna try to go side to side here. Uh, let's see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go down this way and then I'll come back the other side. So we'll just go this way like that. Okay. So we've got a lot of different, uh, a lot of different cars. I mean, some of these I don't think I've ever even seen before, to be honest with you. It's another WRX. Here's an old Camaro and then a Thunderbird. Very nice. Camaro's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Is that like ZZ Top? <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what else we got here. We got a Shelby. But it's cool, it's green and red. Yeah. And a Mustang. Here's a Camaro. Fifth gen Camaro. Another fifth gen Camaro SS. Very nice. You know, these C20s, they grow on me. I'll tell you, I'm really liking these things. Those are it's nice. And it's like a 50th anniversary Corvette here. Okay. Chevelle. And there's just a wide range of different cars here. This is cool. Very cool. And I'm going to swing kind of around there. Here's a here's one I, I think out of the the full generation of the of or I should say the generation of this generation of, of uh, Trans Am Camaros I think this was probably the I think this was probably the car honestly um, it had enough lines that it really made the car I mean they had. Um, this this body style seemed to have its 
have its moments, and this is kind of like what happened with the car. I think that generation just kind of fizzled away. Um, but that Trans Am, uh, that seemed to have the lines, and it's that is a very, very popular car. Um, so it was, it was just stealthy and mean looking, and it, it uh, I always wanted one of those. I had a Trans Am before that, um, or it looked like the Knight Rider ones, but um, I thought those were pretty darn cool. So, yeah, so this must be another group, Speedline. Uh, not familiar with them, but guys, if you're watching, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, looks like you guys got a lot of nice cars, but it looks like it's primarily BMW. So that's cool. Um, very cool. Glad to see it. Um, so now we're going to swing back around. This is off of the main, this was all the main drag that they had. We're going to go ahead and we're going to walk across the uh, to the other side. Uh, this looks like the main area filled. So here's another CTSV, guys. Um, this is, um, to, even today, even though they have a new CTSV, um, you know, as you can see, here's, here's one, and then you can see the other one. Uh, they just, both of them just have a look all their own, and I, and I love both of them. They just, they look great. Um, but, yeah. You got that looking pretty darn nice. She didn't hear me. <laughs> uh, these two guys is here? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful cars. Beautiful cars, yeah. He just upgraded. Oh, yeah? He came from V2 to V3. Yeah, I had a silver one. Did you? Really? Yeah. Um, really? Yeah. So what, so what year is this one? 17. 17. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I am not sad in the least. Really? Well, until the day for the payment rolls around. Oh, yeah, then you'll like, be sad. I love the car 30 days after that. <laughs> like, when the payment comes around and I curse it and I hate it, I yep. tell it I want to get rid of it. But after that, it's fine. There you go. Well, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Okay, guys, have a good one, okay? All right. Well, yeah. Those payments can kill you, that's for darn sure. So you gotta make sure that when you're right, that you love that car. When, Because when it comes time, I say that all the time, when it comes time to write that check at the end of the month, uh, you, you darn near better, better love it, because otherwise you're gonna hate making that payment. So anyway, so let's, let's go ahead and let's walk on down here. And then I'll swing back around like the judges are going through and looking at stuff now that's cool um, so yeah that's I don't envy these these guys with the, the judging um, when we put our show on um, I was not a judge on purpose and um, I'm glad that I I had that handed off to other people to do um, I walked in and, and uh, I was listening to the judges talking back and forth about you know about all the scoring and all that type of stuff and and um, you know the, the the decisions that have to go into it on you know who who wins best of show who wins this who wins that um, you know it's a lot of work and and you know the. the the true judges, they really take it to heart, and they really want to do the right thing. And like I said, I know at our show, we really did try to uh, to make it fair. And uh, and honestly, here you go, guys. Look at this. If you're going to do a C6, these are the lights you got to do. You just go to Vet Lights, right? Give give Cole a call, and uh, he will he'll help you. Uh, get you those lights. Those are just awesome. If I ever get a C6, it will have those lights in it. So, anyway, but like I was saying, with the judging, say it's tough to do that, especially in a multi-car car show. If you're dealing with just all Corvettes, it's a lot easier. Oh, look at this. Look at this Lamborghini. Isn't that beautiful? Jeez. Yeah. Sure enough. Beautiful car. Look at that air intake on this thing. Look at it. Okay. Man. There, it's nuts. Um, anyway, let's get back over here. Keep on track here. Nice, beautiful Ferrari. Uh, looks like 
Magnum just pulled up, right? So, anyway, like I said, with the judging, it's tough to do that. Um, you know, they, they honestly take it to heart, and they think that, um, you know, they want to make sure that everybody gets sneak up right through here, that everybody gets a fair shot at winning. And um, like I said, when you're doing a multi-car, as you guys can see, we're 33 minutes into this video, and we haven't gotten done yet. Can you imagine what these judges have to do to be able to uh, remember? You know, they, they're scoring these things, but what happens when somebody gets the same score? Now you got to go back and you got to look at everything again, um, and um, you know, and so you just have to be able to, to do it to do it right. It, there's a lot of work involved. Um, our show. It took about three hours uh, for the judges to come up with the winners. Is that right? So uh, it, there's a lot of work to it. So uh, anyway, but so guys, we are getting close to the end. Uh, we're going to go down the end of this row here, and then we're going to swing around and we're going to go down to the other side. And uh, and then at that point, I think we're I think we're good. A lot of imports here. Uh, our show only had a few imports, um, but uh, there's a lot here, boy. Um, so that would have been that would have been cool, you guys. If you guys are watching, you guys have an import. You guys, we're going to be doing another show. Show. Hopefully, you guys decide you want to come. All right. So there's a C8. Really pretty car. And then I've seen this car before also, and this is a this is a Stingray. He's done a lot of the work, kind of like I've done. Um, he's got a different type of splitter on the front of it. Um, I think he did that because he's trying to gain some extra clearance, as you can see there. Uh, and then he's changed the the lights. Um, that's kind of cool that he's done that. And, he's, and it's, per, it's wrapped in a purple wrap. And uh, you can see, I mean, he's kind of kind of the same kind of thing that, uh, that I've done. He's got a little bit of a mural right there. Um, but you know, pretty much the same there. Let's see what year is this car. This one is an 18. Okay. So it's wrapped. He went with the black ZR1 wheels. I've got the chrome ones. And then he's got, uh, let's see, Camaro, Corvette, Brotherhood, Sisterhood. Now, I like that. I don't know if you saw that. Um, that is awesome. He, they believe in that same thing of being able to bring the Corvettes and the Camaros together. Look at the side skirts on this. A little bit different. If you can see that. And it's got these winglets. It looks like it's channeling the, channeling the air down the side of the car. It's kind of cool. Okay. And he's got the wing on it. Okay. And he's done a little bit of carbon fiber around it. Yeah, so, I mean, this is, this is very nice. Very nice. Okay. I really like those lights. Those are cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and then we've got another C6 over here. All right. So we've got a few people coming in. Yeah. Very cool. My old 280ZX. My brother used to have a 240. Bright orange. So, guys, we are getting close. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> okay, girl's got to own this car. <laughs> That's all I can say. The eyelashes. There's a Thunderbird. Uh oh, looks like you uh, overheated. Not good. And a couple more hot rods over here. But anyway, guys, we are at the end here. Um, they pretty much, there are cars as you can see. There's still cars coming in. Um, you see him over there. There's a Mustang coming in. Here's a really nice Camaro. 
Um, but, you know, we're going in the driveway. I know. I, I typically always run you guys. I try to always shoot for 30 minutes. I always end up going over. We are now, I'm going to head back toward the car, but we are at about 37 minutes into it. So, so anyway, um, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to swing back by there and talk to all the people. And uh, I'm still on there. I'm just signing off now. So, you know, you guys say hi to John. All right. So we're going to go over there and say hi to everybody. And, and I'm going to rest my voice. And I'm going to get off this thing so it doesn't bug you guys anymore. No, go eat. I know. So you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have, hit the bell. Hit the like button so it'll help us, in our, uh, help us with the channel. All right? Until then, until the next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.